All right, uh, thanks for tuning back in, everyone. Uh, car P380. This is the same P380 that I that I uploaded uh, previously, and uh, a host of malfunctions. But all those malfunctions, I have to lay on the ammo. That Earth Outdoors ammo was absolute junk. I had light, I had primer strikes and and no expenditures. I had uh, weak pressures. I had high pressures. Some that felt way too loud for what it should have been. So uh, it's a lucky, uh, you know, it's lucky I still have my eyes because I told you I forgot my safety glasses that day. So anyway, uh, we're going to continue on. But actually, before I start, I'm going to make sure this barrel's clear. So I'm going to get a stick and make sure this barrel's clear. Who knows? My last round could have stuck in the barrel. I was try I was real careful to make sure that everything got through. But yeah, let's do that. Barrel's clear. And uh, we're just going to shoot it to 6 plus 1, so just 6 rounds, and let's see if I can feed some Remington UMC 115 grain ammo. I have a malfunction. I have a malfunction. I'll turn it this way. It did not lock around the the lip uh, casing lip of that last round. So I'm gonna take a look here. See what happened. It. Uh, I don't know. I don't see a problem. Let's, let's just keep going. It just didn't didn't fall forward. You really have to squeeze them tight. Sometimes these little guns with these polymer frames are limp wrist successible. Susceptible. It's hard for me to say. Malfunction. Malfunction. <laughs> All right, well. Okay, we'll have a new six. Let's try again. I'm just going to put them through pretty fast, see what happens. I guess my thumb locked the slide back on that one. I don't know, it's uncomfortable to shoot, but it's... Okay, so while shooting this, it has a tendency to want to lay back. The slide wants to lay back very, just slightly, you know, an eighth inch or less. And I, I was scared to pull the trigger when it was doing that, but I'm going to this time and find out what's happening. It it's, could be a grease issue, but... And it's covered me in gunpowder, too. Let's keep going here. <laughs> I don't know where I'm missing when I miss. Alright, there's a malfunction. So, there's what happened. For whatever reason, this gun's clean too. It was until I fired these few rounds through it, but yeah, it's not fitting Remington UMC. And I'm done with it at that point. So, I mean, a uh, perfectly clean weapon, Remington UMC ammo. Some people talk bad about Remington UMC, but if a gun's not gonna gonna feed, you know, upper mid-range quality ammo, then it's just not for me. This gun's been greased and cleaned. I can't freaking see with them. So, just uh, take it for whatever you will. I've fired multiple, multiple boxes of ammo through a Glock 42. My wife and I have just. Uh, playing with it and just uh, having fun shooting and I can't think of a single malfunction I don't think there was one it wasn't one so there you are car oh you got a long trigger pull too don't you oh yeah
am I missing at? I couldn't really tell. Alright, so my buddy just fired 12 through it without a problem. Uh, zero malfunctions. And I should point out, all these car pistols when you buy them do have a break-in period of, I think it's 200 rounds. I'm not, I'm not sure. But uh, I don't know, even know if this has had enough rounds through it to be considered broken in. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to shoot it again and we'll just finish off the box. I don't even know if it's 20 rounds left or something. See if I can make it malfunction again. Alright, just, just loading that round in. And this is something else I wanted to talk about. Car recommends you lock the slide back and then drop it with the slide release to load around. I just tried to put one in easily and I couldn't do it. So, you know, that is a car thing and it's a, it's a major pain for me. I think you ought to be able to load around in as easy as you feel like. But, uh, you know, I, I don't know. If you, if you do it like the manufacturer recommends, there shouldn't be a problem loading it, but I didn't. And here we go. Okay, well no problems. No problems with that with that round, with that uh with that magazine full. Let's shoot it again. Okay. I should point out also that you know, I'm a little bit biased when it comes to car. I've had to. I had the car CW45. It would not feed cheaper uh, mid-grade to lower ammo, and I've had the CM9. The CM9 was the same way. I had uh, first round issues when loading it, and the recoil springs on the CM9 were so strong that my wife had trouble loading it. So, uh, you know, putting that first round into it. So if, if you can't load your pistol, what good is it? So I'm a little bit biased. Um, uh, so, you know, I don't know. But, but like the last uh, 18 rounds or whatever has been through it without a flaw, it could just be a break-in thing. I don't know. I don't need freaking safety glasses. So I'm going um, to put six more through it, just give you a close-up of it again, and call it a day with it. And I'm going to load it this way like they they're recommend. Let's see if it goes in. There you go. Well, look at that. I did it just like they wanted, and it didn't go all the way up. I don't know. Here we go. <laughs> okay, went off without a problem. Car P380, nice little uh, carry pistol. If you like it, if you think you if you think you want one, go check it out. Um, for me, a big thanks to my buddy for loaning me these pistols, uh, the Glock 17 in the previous video and then this one. I really appreciate it. And, uh, you know, that is, since we are doing a review, I'd like, to, I'd like to be honest. I'd like everyone to know what they're getting into when they, when they purchase or when they, when they think about buying a new weapon. Um, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you know what you're getting into and if you run, you probably need to run high-end ammo through this. I'm not going to, because it's going back to my buddy. But thanks for watching, and uh, thanks, my buddy, for loaning it to me again. And and uh, tune in. I'll have something else, some randomness or a gun or a beer or something pretty soon. As far as these glasses go, I'm done with them.